Hello viewers, we'll be going over the S&P 500 ETF ticker symbol SPY. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, how we find the models, and the forecast model for the S&P 500 in the next coming days. So back to the technical analysis. Today we are down 2.5% on the one hour chart. We are near oversold RSI early this morning. As for the four hour chart, we were approaching to positive MACD, however, we made a reversal on Thursday and now we're approaching our on negative four hour MACD. And we are also near oversold RSI. If we expand out to the daily chart, we are near oversold our RSI once again. And at the moment, we made higher lows from where we left off in last week on Friday. And if we use the Fibonacci retracement from all-time highs to where we made the lows of last week back in, I would say this was Tuesday, we made a retracement all the way to the 50% Fibonacci retracement. And then we also hit resistance at the 200-day moving average, actually the 9-day moving average, this blue line and that acted as our resistance and we fell lower since then. So at the moment there is some concern after hitting the 50% retracement mark, we may have a chance of going back to the lows and test it once more. And there is also a concern that we may trade sideways in the next coming days. So at the moment, we do see a possible resistance at the 200-day moving average and the 9-day moving average. That price coincides with around $304.80. And as for support, we made a support last Friday or February 28th at around $285. And that uh, is our immediate support. If we were to move down lower, that price movement is roughly around 3% to the downside. And to the upside, if we were to hit resistance, that is around 3.4% to resistance level. So back to the day-by-day -day probability model. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So as the days progress, we have on a seventh day a high chance of the S&P 500 rebounding in this case, the reason why this is 100%, we only have one sample to work on. So on that one sample, it's projecting the S&P 500 to move higher between 2.5% to 5%. So let's head to the day-by-day -day probability or day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Since we only have one sample, we'll examine the sample that is the best match to the current trend. Right here we have the current trend, and below is a trend that I believe is the best match, and that trend dates back to December 24th, 2003 to March 23rd, 2004. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here on the current trend, we average above the middle Bollinger Band for several days. We take a slight dip at this instance below the middle Bollinger Band, and then we proceeded to break up, touch the upper Bollinger Band once more, and then we finally take a dip and take dip here touching the bottom Bollinger Band, and let's just make this red, and then we see that 50% 50, 50 retracement, and once more after that, we continue to head down lower right towards the end. So we have those points there. So let's examine the trend question. So what we have at the beginning of the trend we have a let's just move this what we have is average above the middle bollinger band well let's just remove this if i can yeah so average above the middle bollinger band 
take a slight dip in the middle Bollinger Band at this instance. Let's just mark out the instances where it attempted to reach the middle Bollinger Band or nearing the middle Bollinger Band. So we have those two there. We touched the upper Bollinger Band. And then finally, we proceeded to head down lower towards the very end. So what we have is one, two, three, four, five points. We also have one, two, three, four, five points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was December 24th, 2003 to March 23rd, 2004. Back then, the S&P 500 climbed higher between around 3.9%. So the S&P 500 will most likely see a recovery or a retracement back to the 200-day moving average and the 9-day moving average as indicated in the technical analysis right here. So we may attempt to cover the gaps in between on Thursday night and Friday morning we may fill in that gap. So again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.